Michael, Deshaun, it's so good to see you here in Fort Wayne. Thank you. Thank you. We're at the Expedite Expo where you are going to be presenting at a breakout session. Um, tell me what you're going to be sharing at your session. What's the topic? What's the plan? Is there a plan? There's no plan. Okay, good. You know, Jason Williams, the president and CEO of, of Expeditor Services, I tried to kind of corral him for a plan on, on our session. And he's like, you know, I just like to show up and we'll make it happen. We don't Absolutely. need a plan. Absolutely. So sometimes a man with a plan is not necessary, right? Sometimes it's up to the lady to make all the details oh, anyway. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I like her. So um, you're, you're running a small business, right? Yes. And you successfully completed a um, your the path to ownership program you right. you were in the PTO program um, you're here in person what does doing business and meeting with folks that you do business with collaborating getting together the sense of community I mean how is this in-person event going for you what do you are you happy to be back in person definitely happy to be back in person um, it's always good to kind of see and meet the people that you deal with on a daily basis because most of the time you're not able to see them all at once you may see one person here one person there so it's good to have everybody together yes it makes it a lot easier and you specifically met with um the folks that you interact with on on a business level every day today correct correct okay and um face to a name a little bit more than that when it comes to doing business and being in partnership with someone mm -hmm. yes. correct yeah. correct well, um, we're getting together for the expo, and um, so you, you don't have a plan for your session, but what is the overarching topic? What are you going to be talking about in general? Well, basically about our Path to Ownership program and how that affected us and how it was when we went through it. So hopefully we're able to kind of enlighten new people on the whole process with uh, working with ES and bring some people over to ES. I met with a lot of new folks today, new folks in, in the industry, they're considering the, the trucking industry, they might be considering Expedite, um, they might be doing trucking already and just be considering ownership. And in general, the, there was a frequently asked question and it was, how do I decide? What if it doesn't work out? What happens if, et cetera? And isn't that the actual goal or most successful outcome of doing the PTO program, the try before you buy. Is that is that kind of what convinced you to participate in the program? Or or is it just a great outcome? Go ahead. Well that kinda had a lot to do with it as well. You definitely need to kinda get your feet wet before you go into purchasing a vehicle and investing yourself all the way in. Uh, that's very important. But like I used to tell people all the time, you know, it's kind of best to quote unquote interview the people that you're working with or working for or that you're interested with. So all of that's kind of important. I guess especially if you're going to partner up with yeah, someone. Yeah, you know, if, if your business is vested in how someone else conducts their business, I think it, it makes a lot of sense to have a trial period and right. test the waters, if right. you will. Right. Yep. And to have teamwork, you know, just yes. to be able to, and like you said, to be able to see their face and talk to them and interact with them and actually see it. You know, on the phone, you can be phony, but in face to face, you got to see the smile and look in each other in the eyes and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. We had a panel discussion earlier and we were talking about career path in the industry and you did a, a, a path to ownership program and now you are operating as owners, as, as partners. Um, you're, you're in business with some of the largest organizations operating in the United States. You safely deliver on a daily basis. You are part of an integral component of our country, um, of the industry. You know, in general, what's your next? What's your next step? Is it something that you want to do to outfit the truck? Is it the next, um, you know, line of work that you that you want to be hauling? Is it, um, you know, is it adding a truck? What's your next goal in mind? Our next goal in mind is actually just, you know, making sure that everything is stable, yes. um, business-wise, um, making sure we know exactly what we're doing. Um, and eventually add more trucks onto the uh, okay. into the business so, and grow it. So uh, you do have a goal of becoming a fleet owner. Correct. And today mm -hmm. um, your your goal is is profitability, operating a safe company, Most definitely. continuing as a happy partnership, right? Most definitely. <laughs> in business Most definitely. and finding your success in trucking, if yep. you will. Yep. 
most definitely. Yes. All right. Well, it was really good to meet you here. Very good to meet you in person. I'm so excited for your session tomorrow, and I am excited to see uh, truck number two and then truck number three on the road in the future. <laughs> Always, Always, definitely, yes. definitely. We appreciate it. Good Glad to, to meet be here. You. Thank right. you.